Hello everybody and uh, Happy New Year. سال ده هزار بیست و چهار بوگ و مالبات سال که بخشی رنگی به در سایی روش شروع کرنا الفابه یا کردی به انگلیسی. Today I'm going to explain to you the Kurdish alphabet. I'm going to introduce the Kurdish alphabet um, uh, letter by letter. So please pay attention. The letter A in Kurdish is always pronounced as A. Uh, never changes. You know, in English you have um, apple, you have R, you have bath. But in Kurdish it's always A. Uh, also, genau wie auf Deutsch immer A. The letter B is no difference. Uh, it is uh, in English, it's in German, uh, Bonn, Berlin, brother, brother. The letter C, now this letter, pay attention, it's pronounced as the English J. So, um, for example, if you want to write uh, Jamal uh, in Kurdish, you have to write C E M A L. Uh, so this is Jamal. So don't forget, C is J. And you know, originally the Turkish alphabet um, and the Kurdish alphabet used to be in Arabic. But when the, uh, the Turkish New Republic, uh, beginning of the 20th century, uh, was born, uh, Turkey changed um, the alphabet uh, to Latin alphabet. So. The Kurdish prince um, Jaladat Bad Khan uh, tried to introduce a new Kurdish alphabet uh, as closely as possible to Turkish. So he hoped um, when the Kurdish children went to schools in Turkey, they will also um, uh, learn uh, the alphabet and uh, they will be able to read in Kurdish as well. Anyway, C is J in Kurdish alphabet. Then we have got uh, C um, Cirella, and C Cirella becomes C H, like uh, Chav uh, I in uh, Kurdish. Uh, C H. Nowadays, some people also when they write, they write C H. You know, personally, if it were to me, I would um, choose C H. But it is C uh, Cirella. It is Che in Kurdish alphabet. D, no problem, as in English, as in German. Um, e, now this sound is E, eh, always as E, eh, like in English, apple. Uh, so it is E eh sound in, in Kurdish, always, no change. When you put um, um, circumflex uh, on it, it becomes A. So it becomes A, like English AI, for example. Now you have a look at Zer, gold in Kurdish, um, so it is uh, written Z, E, Sidella, and R. Um, it's A. F, no problem, it's exactly as in English, as in German. G, it's as the German, G. So genau auf Deutsch sagt man groß, of Kurdish, immer G. Uh, so Zamane Kurdiji, gay. Zamane always gay in Kurdish. Never changes. You know that in English uh, sometimes um, it changes to J if we, if 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 it's followed by E, for example. Uh, but um, in Kurdish, uh, always gay. H is he pronounced like a heart. He came or she came. Then I is uh, sounds like e. Eh. There are not many words that start with e eh in Kurdish, uh, like, but in Kurdistan, the I, this I in Kurdish is e, eh, Estan, Kurdistan, uh, or the letter, uh, the word mir, mir died, m i r. Uh, but when you have I circumflex, then this I becomes E. It is like um, uh, uh, English um, double E becomes, or uh, sometimes it becomes, um, uh, you know, like the Y depends. Uh, for example, Italy, Italian, Pir, old. The letter J, um, uh, 
this like a middle sound uh, in the word measure. So it is J, Jean, pen, for example. So the letter J is J. The letter K is exactly like English. And the letter L is exactly like English. M like English. N like English. O, it's um, like the English word orange. Uh, so in Kurdish we say zor for force. It's always o. Uh, p no problem. It's like uh, English por for example is hair. Now q this sound is mostly associated with the words of Arabic origin. It has no equal sound in the European languages. So um, uh, for example in, in Kurdish we say qaz or duck. We say bakal. Is grosser or back for frog. Um, then we have R, no problem, it's exactly as in English. Then we have S, no problem, like English. And then we have S Sidela, and this one is SH. I personally prefer SH, but that's how the way it is now. And uh, the letter T uh, is exactly as in English, for example, tractor, is tractor. Uh, Matt is auntie. Then you, uh, this uh, also hardly any word in Kurdish starts with this letter. It's pronounced as e uh, as in Kuwait, as in Kurd. And uh, then comes Yusidela. Now it becomes like U, like double O or O U in English. Uh, for example, the word Dur in Kurdish means far, far away. V is no problem, Volvo. W is pronounced as w in Washington or down or how. Uh, in Kurdish, wara, for example, wara means come. Badaw means pretty. X, now this letter is different. This letter is pronounced like Arabic kh. Uh, now in German, we have a similar sound in it, like koch, for example. Um, uh, but in Kurdish, it's always khe. Um, in German, as I said, you say koch, doch, uh, buch. But uh, in English, you choose kh as in the word khomeini, for example. But in Kurdish, it becomes khomeini. Then we have y, and this is as uh, the letter uh, y in yard, in um, yellow. In Kurdish, for example, we say yak for one, die for mother. Z is as in English. For example, zo is pair, baza is fast. Sorry, I uh, was uh, fast, but if you like, you can uh, listen to it uh, once or twice or more. And once you master the Kurdish alphabet, you'll be able to read Kurdish easier. All the best for 2024, and we'll meet again sometime in another lesson. The Khotre was born on Godarim Briz, I made your academy in the Havra, so I'm the Darsakadin, the Khotre.